We're going to be palpating a muscle on the side of the cheek here, then into the upper lip. It is called levator anguli oris. For this muscle, what I'm going to actually do is start at the incisive fossa of the maxilla, so just above the incisors. I'm going to move lateral to that, and there's going to be a raised area for your canine. This is known as the canine eminence of the maxilla. And as we head lateral to that, you actually fall into what is known as the canine fossa. So one more time, incisive fossa, canine eminence, and then canine fossa. So if we look, this is directly above the angle of the mouth. So this muscle starts in this fossa and goes down and inserts into the corner or angle or what we've called the modiolus of the mouth. And it's gonna elevate or raise the corner of this mouth. So it goes straight up. So previously we've had muscles that have been elevating the upper lip, but this one is gonna elevate the kind of corner or angle of the mouth superiorly. So let's go straight up like that. So again, originating from the canine fossa and inserting into the corner or angle of the mouth. And this muscle is innervated by the facial nerve. All right, we're gonna be palpating the muscle on the side of the cheek known as rosorius. I'm just gonna turn our head to the side here. So this muscle is originating over top of the skin and in the skin of the cheek here. However, you might reference one of two things. So what I'm doing right now is I'm doing a pincher grasp over top of where her masseter would be. So this muscle is originating superficial to that, but superficial to the masseter is also the parotid gland. So that's coming down over here. So depending on where you're referencing your muscle, it's originating either over top of the parotid or the masseter, which is exactly the same structure. So this is gonna go forward and it's gonna be inserting into the corner angle of the mouth. So it's originating on the skin, superficial to one of either masseter or parotid gland, and inserting into the corner or angle of the mouth. It's gonna draw that just flat straight back, so often referenced as a flat smile. You can just draw your perfect. Let's look straight at the camera now for a second. And again, just a flat draw back, good. So very small, superficial muscle, kind of in that cheek area, drawing the corner or angle of the mouth laterally. And this is innervated by the facial nerve. All right, we're gonna be palpating a muscle of the cheek known as buccinator. Some people refer to it as buccinator. Um, I guess it just depends on how you wanna pronounce it. So buccinator is a muscle that's originating on both the maxilla as well as off the mandible. So what I'm doing is I'm palpating below the zygomatic bone on the maxilla and starting to work my way back on the outside of the teeth, um, but what is we refer to as the alveolar processes. So kind of like a tooth socket. So as I'm palpating back and getting just a few of them on the maxilla, and then I would go down and reference the same kind of landmarks, the outside of those teeth on the alveolar processes here, and I won't be able to palpate all the way back because the ramus of the mandible is getting in the way. There is an additional landmark, um, the origin, and it's deep, again, to this bone here, the mandible, and it's known as the pterygomandibular raphae. So if you look that up in a picture, I might be able for you to kind of see that. So it really has origin on bone and bone, as well as soft tissue to the posterior aspect. This muscle is coming forward and it's inserting into the musculature of the upper and lower lip. So not just at the modiolus, but it actually starts to blend into the musculature of orbicularis oris. So it, when it tightens, it almost pulls back and compresses that cheek up against the teeth. So it's not exactly drawing back on the lip, but it's more compressing inside. So those of you that have used a woodwind instrument before, and you've had to put your mouth on kind of the reed or the instrument aspect where you're blowing into forced air through a smaller kind of hole, you'll have to purse your lips and tighten up your cheeks for that pressure to build. And you really are using buccinator through that action. Again, origin from both maxilla and mandible and inserting into the musculature of the lips. This muscle is innervated by the facial nerve. 